I had no idea. I never knew anything happened like that on Jirai. Well, I don't think Aika knew either, Sasami. She's kind of shaken. Here's your dinner, everyone. Thanks for waiting. What? More carrots? Great, so it's the only food left, Washu. <sighs> I bought too many carrots. What are you going to do? Life is like that. I know Rio Oki loves them, but I'm going to turn orange soon. Oh, that reminds me, where is Ryoki? Hmm. Yeah, where is she? Wouldn't want her to miss more yummy carrots. You know, I gotta say, I kinda like having dinner under the stars like this. Don't you guys? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Hey, do you think we should go get Tenchi and Aika? Mahoshi, I think we should just leave them alone for now. You're probably right. Hey, come on, huh? pay attention, the fire's going out! Oh! <laughs> I really wish they'd cook faster. I don't know, it's just so strange. Only a while ago I was just an ordinary earthling, you know? Just an ordinary high school boy and nothing more. Then, all of a sudden, I don't know. Tenji, I know it's difficult, but I've enjoyed it all. Huh? From the time we left the Earth chased by the Jirai forces, in fact, ever since I arrived on the Earth and started to live with you and your family, I have been so very happy, enjoying every minute of life. But... But I have always understood my duty as the first princess of the planet Jirai. And of course I knew that my happy holiday would have to come to an end one day. And yes, I always knew I would eventually have to say goodbye to you, Tenchi. Aika, I always thought... Please listen, Tenchi. Even though I am the first princess, I am merely a member of one of many branch families. Now that it has been revealed you are the direct descendant of Jirai's royal family, it is you, Tenchi, who should succeed the throne. But, Aika, I... Uh... If you do so, Tenchi, I can be near you. Tenchi, I can be close to you always. Uh, I... And the wish I've always had, the wish I thought was impossible, might come true. I, I, I can't help thinking that, Tenchi. Forgive me for pouring up my heart. Come, Yosho. Yes. I was certain you would come here, Yosho. And so it was you all along, Kagato. I've waited so long for this moment to meet you again. Of course I wasn't dead, but you knew that. All this time, I was in the darkness of the universe. 
refining and strengthening my Jurai power to the most extreme limit. I've been thinking of you for a long, long time. I must say, it's very nice to see you again. I see you've aged, eh, Yosho? I think I look pretty good for my age. Just look at me. The infinite power of youth is completely mine to command. Is that one of the powers you acquired in the darkness of the universe? Indeed it is. There is nothing Jirai's power cannot do. So you've had a universal facelift, is that it, Kagato? Are you ready? Hmm. That's good. I can feel your fighting spirit now. Kagato, I have to make you die once again, you know. As the heir to the throne of planet Jirai, will your power win? Or will my power triumph, amplified by the darkness of the universe? We shall see. Take this! You're still quite good. You're exactly like the old days. But I'm not exactly like the old days. Well, well, that's very impressive, Yosho. Worthy of a legendary warrior. I did warn you. I am not the same as the old days. I can see that. In the darkness of the universe, fighting a fear and desperation worse than death itself. I would dream of this moment over and over. Dream of the moment I killed you, Yosho. 